So tons of today's best careers center around an educational core that we like to call STEM. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. And taking STEM classes while you're still in high school can give you a jump start on landing some of these top jobs. Jobs like you're gonna find here in Grand Island at a company called Novatech. Novatech is keeping you and me healthy by focusing on, what else? Animals on the farm. Here you have it. Well, this is Gloria Thiesenwitz. She is the president and also the founder of Novatech. And so Novatech is in the business of keeping me healthy in a really unique way. Yes, our products are used to treat the animals that that produce the food and milk that you eat. Oh, that's nice. So uh, exactly how do you help those animals? There are fluid replacement therapies for those animals. Wow. So like, if I get sick, I need an IV. That's kind of the first thing the doctors do for me. Yes. Same thing with animals. They get sick, they need an IV. Aw, I love that you're like keeping these animals healthy. Yeah. Wow. So uh, in order to create this formula, it must take a lot of different people doing a lot of different things. Obviously, it starts in the lab. Well, you're working with pharmaceuticals, so I'm guessing like, Chemists, yes. right? Uh, chemists, uh, biologists, and uh, laboratory associates. Wow, and then everything else to make a company run, like you've got your IT people, your accountants. That's correct. So all those kind of STEM careers all in one place. Yes. Well, I would love to meet one of these young professionals that works for you. Can you introduce me to somebody? Yes, I'd love to do that. Great, what's his name? His name is Chris Schweitzer. Great, I'll go talk to him. Okay. This is Chris, he is the operations manager here at Novatech. Chris, tell us what that's all about. Uh, essentially what I do is I take the product, I'm responsible for the product being made, uh, filled, packaged, and then uh, palletized in the outbound shipment. So from the beginning of the product's life to the end of the product's life. Wow, that's a whole lot of responsibility. Like, what kind of uh, degree do you have? I have a four-year biology degree in environmental science. Nice, and so uh, walk us through what a day is like in uh, your job. Well, I get here pretty early. I'm in charge of basically setting up both lines that we have here, um, get the people in the right positions, um, and then basically just making sure that we get a good product out the door, a good quality product. Wow, so working with specs, technical details, working with people, it must be a really rewarding job. What's your favorite thing about working in this field? Uh, working with people with different backgrounds and working alongside of them. Mm -hmm. And you grew up loving STEM classes, right? Yes, I, I absolutely liked the, the science mm -hmm. and a lot of biology in high school. So Wow, that's so much fun. Chris, thank you so much for letting me know a little bit about your job. Oh, before I forget, I would love to like participate in something that Novatech's doing. Can I be a part of your company for a day? Yeah, I, I think uh, Grace will show you a sterility test. Ooh, all right, sterility, here we come. That sounds weird. All right, this is the sterility test. I am supervising, and this is Hasina and Grace. Grace, why don't you explain what Hasina is doing? Hasina is doing a sterility test for finished drug products. Mm -hmm. um, every single lot of drug man we manufacture here gets um, tested by sterility to make sure there's no microorganisms okay. before we release the marketplace. Sure, so it's gotta be 100% pure. Yes. Wow, what kind of background do you have to work with this stuff? Um, Hasina here, she has a background in microbiology and uh, she came to us from Purdue University with a master in microbiology and uh, um, so that really fits the area she's testing. Yeah, and you have that same background? My background is more in chemistry and molecular biology and together we kind of team up together to make sure um, we do a good job testing our products. There you go, so she's taking samples right yes. now and then what's the next step here? Um, the next step is we're gonna incubate this material for 14 days and at the end of 14 days we're going to make sure it's free of organisms and uh, if everything's negative along with some chemical analysis we can release the product. Wow so for two weeks you're waiting and that's when you know if it's good or not. Yes. All right well I'll be back in two weeks make sure everything's you know up to snuff. Great. Grace thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks Asina. Really appreciate it. That's Novatech making our lives healthier one glass of milk at a time. Companies with careers in STEM, thank you, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, are working to change the world. And here in Blair, Nebraska, there's a business that's using STEM to make our lives better, easier, and more green. Welcome to Novazymes. 
When you're in the lab, you rock the coats. That's what we're doing. I'm here with Chuck Hankins. He's a QES manager, which stands for quality, environment, Metal. and safety. safety. You got Great. it. Thanks. So tell us about Novazymes. Novazymes is a business. We are a business that is basically the Google of biotechnology. Hmm. We come up with environmentally friendly solutions to processes in industry that normally are not the most environmentally friendly. Okay, so you work with enzymes. Tell us about that. An enzyme is actually a biological structure that has a very specific metabolic activity. Okay. So for instance, you have enzymes in your stomach. You right. have lunch. Those enzymes are digesting that lunch right now so that okay. you can get the nutrition out of that sandwich that you ate. So it's good. It's very good. And there are enzymes all over the world that do all different types of things. Yes, they're very specific in what they do. Wow, so you're taking those enzymes mm -hmm. and you're using them to make products and stuff in our lives better, faster, more eco-friendly. Exactly. Wow, how did you get into a field like that? Uh, I started in the, the, the sciences way back when I was a kid. I kind of, I was the one that took his, his toys apart and put them back together. Nice. Uh, middle school, I started in chemistry and it just really kind of flew and I've never looked back. Wow. Let's go do operation a little bit. It seems like an <laughs> operation body. Yes, I had one of those too. <laughs> there you go. Nice. So uh, what type of people work here at Novozymes? Uh, the people that work at Novozymes are a special breed. Um, what they have in common is a, a natural curiosity for the world um, around them. Mm -hmm. And the education that they had in the, the sciences and uh, technology has enabled them to use that knowledge to make the world a better place. Chuck, I'd love to meet one of those unique people, so can you point me towards someone who works here? I most definitely can. How about one of our micro analysts, Kelsey? Perfect. This is Kelsey. She is a quality control microbiology analyst. I got it right? Correct. Well, tell us what that is because it's a mouthful. Uh, my job here in quality control is to detect contamination or bad bacteria in our products to make sure us in quality control are sending out good products. Wow, so you guys are purposely doing this kind of thing before the product gets on the line. So when it's there, it's making sure it's perfect. Is that right? Correct. Wow, so that's maybe stressful job. Like, how'd you get into this field? Uh, well, in high school, I wasn't very good at it. Hmm. Um, I could do math. I could do uh, writing, I could do art, but I couldn't really do science. Uh, I like a challenge and I'm very curious, so I decided to pursue science. Wow, that's an interesting way to decide what to do, yes. what you're not the best at. So what do you love most about your job? Uh, my favorite part is actually making sure we have good products released to the public. So detecting or not detecting contamination would be my favorite part. Great. Well, I appreciate you doing that because I love having a perfect product. Uh, is there a way I could help out today? Uh, I actually contaminated one of our samples and we'll see if you can't uh, do my job and detect contamination. I bet I can do it. All right, Kelsey, tell me what I need to do. All right, today I have a contaminated sample. I purposely contaminated this since we rarely have contaminations here. Hmm. Uh, so that you can attempt to do my job. Oh, wow. <laughs> In order to do that, first, I'm gonna have you put a drop of water on a slide. Simple enough. This is going back to my middle school biology days right there. Water on slide. Check. Oh yeah, now what's next? Uh, if you would take a one microliter loop Ooh. and uh, dip it into this contaminated sample. And I probably shouldn't spill this anywhere, huh? Uh, probably shouldn't. <laughs> Good, all right, all right. Water contaminated. Dropping it off right here? Yes, please. Done. And then if you would put another small glass slide on top of what you just did. Perfect, got it. And boom, <laughs> the best slide ever. All right, now that we have the slide made, we'll move over to the microscope and see what we will see if we put that up here. All right, okay, tell me what's going on. All right, in the screen, we have a little bit of our mold growing over here. Looks nice. And then we have a contamination. It's going to be rod shaped and moving a bit faster than anything else you see on the screen. Oh, okay, I got one right there. Little dancing rod. Uh, yes, that's correct. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so once you find that, what, what's next? What do we do? Uh, there's an array of testing we could do, uh, including sending it out for identification. Mm -hmm. There you go. But we discovered this. Yes. Awesome. Sounds great. Well, we got a perfect product right on the way thanks to this. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Really appreciate it. That is Novazymes. They are the catalyst for a better tomorrow. The thing about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, is that those careers are changing the way we live our lives for the better. 
For example, there's a company right here in Lincoln that's using STEM to cure our diseases, improve our health, and even grow our crops. The name? It's pronounced Lycor. And, yep, I'm running late. Come on. Well, this is Angie Hofschneider. She is a vice president here at Lycor. And tell us what Lycor is all about, Angie. Yeah, so um, we develop instrumentation for global climate change research, um, drug discovery, and disease research. Whoa, okay, that's a mouthful. It sounds cool. Give us uh, some examples. Yeah, so um, for example, we um, had an instrument, uh, researchers put an instrument on a plane that flew through Hurricane Katrina um, mm. to help better understand the atmosphere. Uh, we also we also have an instrument that um, is at um, Coca-Cola that helps um, better understand the taste buds of consumers huh. um, so they can develop products. Cool. Yeah. Wow. So obviously you employ a certain type of people here. Mm -hmm. What are those people like who work at Lycor? Yeah, yeah we, we employ um, a lot of different types of people with a lot of different backgrounds. Engineering, science, uh, we have about 40 PhDs that work for us here, um, about 40 or so engineers, um, all different types of backgrounds, biology, math, entomology, um, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. Dang, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot, I'm sure you could keep going. I could. Yeah, and you guys are a worldwide company so you'd have the opportunity to travel. Yeah. And it sounds like you guys are doing all you can to better crops and better lives. Yes, we are. Yeah, so um, some of our positions do have an opportunity to travel. We have a research facility that's in California. We also have an office that's in Bad Hamburg, Germany as well. Mm -hmm. so. Wow, so the people who work here, they like to tinker with stuff, right? They do, yeah. Probably from an early age, um, they, they like to take things apart, figure things out, and so a lot of those employees went into engineering disciplines or science disciplines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Angie, I'd love to learn a little more about LICOR. Can you point me towards like a young professional who works here I could talk to? Yeah, Eric Price, he works uh, in our environmental uh, business side and he can, he can help you out. Perfect. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah. All right, we are in the greenhouse with Eric, who's an applications analyst. That's right. Eric, what does that mean? Uh, it means I do something different every day. Hmm. So most of what I do is tech support. So I help customers on the phone. Uh, with emails on website uh, chat and help them answer their questions so uh, if an instrument's broken or it seems like it's broken we help them troubleshoot that and maybe they'll need to send it in we help with that too um, other questions we get are about uh, the measurement itself how should i set up my measurement and what should i do what are some good tips and practices that i should take care of so nice well obviously you love what you do how'd you get That's into right. this field uh, I started out, um, I majored in biology and math, mm -hmm. and uh, I got a bachelor's degree from the University of Nebraska. Um, I started out here as an intern at LICOR my last semester of college, and then started full-time once I graduated. Nice, and you've loved doing this kind of stuff for a long time, right? Even before school. That's right, yeah. I started out just loving uh, to learn about animals, Bugs, plants, nice. all kinds of things. Dinosaurs? That's right. Oh yeah. yeah, anything, huh? Yeah, yeah, and it just continued and I just uh, kept loving what uh, the natural world has to offer. Hmm. So. Awesome, well I'd love to learn about it too. Can I do like your job for a day here? You, you certainly can, yeah. What you're leaning on there is a LI6400 portable photosynthesis system. Okay, nice, so it's good to lean on. I'm sure it does yeah. other things too. Tell me about what it does. That's right. So. Essentially what you do uh, is to clamp this chamber onto a leaf okay. and we measure how much carbon dioxide is going into the plant uh, for its photosynthetic uh, processes and then how much carbon dioxide it's giving off. Wow, okay, so how do I do that? This clampy thing, right? Yep, so you unclamp, unclamp. that and we want to check to make sure the light is on. Light's on. So we can see that. All right, let me and clamp this nice little leaf, leaf on there. Yep, just clamp it down like that. That's right. Boom, okay, what next? And then we'll push a button down here. So now this machine's gonna interpret the leaf data. That's right. I'm assuming there's a button I can push. Yeah, uh, if you wanna push the right bracket key. Oh yeah, done. Hey, nice. There it is. Got some graphs here. Yeah, so this is showing photosynthesis over time mm -hmm. and also conductance. So the leaf has tiny pores called stomates that open and close 
um, to let in carbon dioxide and expel water. Okay, and so, so this is checking if they're working right? That's it right. It looks like they are in my zero experience. Yeah, yeah, I would give it a few more minutes, but uh, it looks like it's going well so far. Nice, great job, Leaf. Okay, yeah. well, thanks for letting me experience your job, Eric. Really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, using STEM to improve health and crops, that's LICOR.